Today, I'm gonna to show you the difference between vibrance and saturation in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And here's the big difference. Saturation tends to just bring up all of the colors in intensity, while vibrance brings up a lot of the colors but will protect skin tones. So here in our quick example, we'll show you the difference and even show you that stacking vibrance filters is a better effect than increasing saturation. So here's our sample image. You can download this for free on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Now we're going to go up to layer over to new adjustment layer and we're going to go to vibrance. And you'll actually see within our vibrance adjustment layer, we have both vibrance and saturation. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. So let's just click on this and hit Control or Command J to duplicate this. And I'm just going to call, it, call this saturation. Okay. So in our first layer with vibrance, what we're going to do is bring our vibrance all the way up. And let's go ahead and zoom out of our image and see how that looks. In general, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely a little bit too much in our subject skin, but overall, it's done a really nice job with all of these other greens and other tones in my photo. Now, let's go ahead and show what happens when we turn our saturation all the way up. So I'm using the same vibrance adjustment layer, the duplicate here, but this time we're gonna take saturation and we're gonna bring that all the way up instead. And you can see what a big difference that makes in my subject's skin tone. So here is vibrance and here is saturation and back to the original. So basically the idea is whenever you're working with people, you wanna use vibrance instead of saturation. Now, if you want even more of an effect, I recommend duplicating your vibrance layer. So here we can see we have our first vibrance layer, turning this off and on. And if I duplicate this by hitting Control or Command J, we've increased the overall vibrance in our photo. And this looks really good. And you can see even with two vibrance layers, the effect still looks a lot better than just cranking up your saturation, especially in skin tones. Now, if you find, if you brought up your vibrance and you're like, I think everything looks good, but the saturation is still a little bit too strong on your subject's skin, here's a neat trick to reduce that saturation just on the subject's skin. First thing we wanna do is make a selection out of our subject's skin, basically selected by color. So let's just create a new layer. We're gonna to go to select and then down to color range. Now, basically you have your eyedroppers here. So if I click on the leaves, it'll select those. You can see the lighter areas show you what's selected and the darker areas are not selected. So in this case, let's go ahead and select on our subject's skin. There we go, that looks good. You can even use a plus eyedropper to add a couple areas. There we go. So now for whole face and hands are selected, that looks great. So when I hit okay, the light areas turn into a selection and the darker areas are not selected. Okay. So basically our subject skin is now selected. So if we wanna make this invisible on those vibrance layers, all we have to do is keep the same selection active and just paint black on the layer mask, which is gonna hide those vibrance layers where the skin is. All right, I know it sounds a little bit complex. You'll see in just a second, it's actually not too hard. Okay, so remember, we have our subject skin selected because we went to select color range, okay? Now what we're gonna do is go to this layer mask right here. I'm gonna hit B for my brush tool and we're just gonna paint black on the layer mask. So I'm gonna paint black on the layer mask of the vibrance layer. I'm gonna hit Control or Command H real quick. That's just gonna hide my selection temporarily. There we go. And now I'm just gonna start painting black on the layer mask just where my subject's skin is, okay? I can even do this on the original vibrance layer as well. So I can bring our subject's skin back to its original color from the original photo while still making sure the vibrance of everything else increases. Now, if you take a look at the layer masks, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on this layer mask. You can see, basically I just painted black where my subject's skin is, and that's hiding the vibrance layer right there. Okay, now if I wanna duplicate this to the saturation layer just to see what that looks like, you can hold Alt or Option on any layer mask and click and drag it to another layer, and it'll just duplicate it. It'll ask you wanna replace it, we'll say yes. So now here's the test of the final test of the day. Okay, so here we have our original image. We have our vibrance layers bringing up a little bit more color. And then if we turn on the saturation and remember, we went ahead and blacked out my subject's face for the saturation layer. Let's turn that on. That actually looks really nice. So we're gonna use our brush tool. I'm just gonna make sure to paint black where my subject's face is. 
There we go around these areas because I really don't want the saturation to affect those areas too much. And I'm just going to bring the opacity of that layer down a little bit. But I do like that it was bringing out the colors in our subject's shirt quite a bit. So as you can see, you can stack these together if you want. But if you're going to use saturation, I highly recommend selecting the color range of your subject's skin and then masking that out so it doesn't oversaturate the skin. Alrighty, thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to get more free videos with me and my buddy Koa here, just click on that subscribe button. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks again, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.